Yo, what's going on you guys? This is your boy RVG, aka The Random Black Gamer, hitting you guys with another update video. And today's update is going to be an up close and personal update. This is going to be about me, and it's also going to be about you guys, because without you guys, these videos wouldn't be made possible. I would not be here if it wasn't for the fans. But I want to give you guys an up close and personal view on the things that have been going on with me behind the scenes instead of just in front of the camera. Because I feel like these things that you guys are, you know, getting in terms of videos, they only give you an idea of what I am and who I am as a person. It's only giving you a professional look on the things that I do on YouTube as a content creator. Now, the things that I'm going to talk to you guys about has a lot to do with the content that I produce and how it's kind of hurt me, you know, in terms of just being motivated because I feel like the things that I'm doing with the channel, it's like, a developmental process it's very therapeutic but the way that things are being handled on my channel is kind of stopping me and my creative processes from you know just going and moving forward and that's just due to the, all the copyright claims now this isn't like a, a big issue that I'm having with the channel like the channel isn't any is it in any copyright trouble but it's put a strain on my financial income it's kind of stopped me from making any kind of money from my videos that I produce and don't even get it, you know, don't get it twisted. It's not all about the money. Like, the money isn't the main issue. The issue is that you need to have all the freedom that you want, especially as a country creator. Anybody who's trying to get into YouTube, make sure that you have as much freedom as you want and make sure that if you're going to make money from something, do something that you do joy. Do something that's conducive to your life, your way of living, something that's going to help your family. That's what it's all about. That's what it's always been about. Do something that's going to be therapeutic. It's going to be something that you enjoy doing, something that's going to be a learning experience, something that's going to touch the people. That's what it's always been about for me and YouTube. Now, there are a lot of issues within YouTube and my personal life that have to be kind of set aside. You have to balance them out because personal life and the way I present myself on the camera or on YouTube is very different from how I present myself in the outside world of YouTube. There's a lot of shit that you guys don't see. And yes, for the record, I am black. I am mocha. As you can see, this hand of the god is mixed and drenched in chocolate. So yeah, a lot of people always speculate that I'm just some fat white guy who produces videos and breathes all heavy on the camera. I can't help how I breathe. I'm a big sturdy guy. I'm over 200 pounds. I'm six foot four. Full of man. See that? I didn't mean that in a homosexual way either, full of man, because I know you trolls out there. But this video is just here to update you guys on the status and get you to learn a little more about me. And maybe this way I can get more up close and personal with you guys just so you can see who I am as a person and see that everything that you see on YouTube isn't exactly the person that you're going to get if you encounter that person in public. You might get an asshole in person. You might get a person that's not even outspoken as he is on camera because he's safe within the confines of his own home. That's the kind of people that are on YouTube. Me, I'm sort of a mixed bag because I am an outgoing person, but there have been a lot of things that have hindered me from getting to this level to where I'm at. And I think if I can motivate somebody out there who has the same deals and issues that I have, I'd have to say that my job's done. Now, the certain things that I'm going to talk about is one, Asperger's Syndrome. A lot of people don't know what Asperger's Syndrome is, but I'm going to break it down to you. Asperger's Syndrome is a... Well, what the fuck is Asperger's Syndrome? It's an autistic spectrum. I'm sorry about that. I'm still camera shy. I still have to embrace the camera. Hopefully, I'm doing good. I mean, I hope I'm not messing you guys up. But um, yeah, Asperger is a autistic spectrum that stops people from connecting with others in the way that an average person would connect with others. They're not extroverted as other people are. They're not really socially upset. Uh, 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 how can I say this? Socially advanced. They think differently. They see the world differently. Now, depending on the surroundings that you're in, you're going to see the world how you perceive it. It's not going to be like the average person perceives it. You're going to see things that other people can't see. It's going to hurt you in a lot of ways, and it's going to benefit you in a lot of ways. Hell, I could look at an ant on the ground and wonder where the fuck it's going for like two hours. You know, I could literally just watch an ant go to one destination to another destination. A little ant. 
or watch bubbles just pop up in the bath water. But to get back on track, it's going to be things that you focus on that other people focus on. They're going to be things that you can relate to that other people can't relate to. But a lot of hilarious things that people talk about, you're not going to be able to actually get what they're talking about. A lot of things have to be cued. You have to laugh when other people laugh most of the time. But that's not necessarily to take away from my social expertise as a person because I feel like with me and just the way I live and the way I view life, I feel like this isn't something that's going to hurt me. You know, I feel like this is something that's actually helped me. You know, it's helped me be more analytical with my videos. It's helped me analyze Dragon Ball Z. It's helped me look at certain video games and the, the genre and the actual community of video games and Dragon Ball Z. It's helped me do a lot of things. It's definitely helped me with women. I mean, they say Asperger's is a hindrance towards getting women. I don't know where the fuck you've been living at. Unless you've been living under a rock and you have no socialness around you, I don't even know where that's at. Because everything comes with confidence. Everything comes with an idea. You have to make that idea a reality. And so that's just one thing that I deal with on a constant basis. It's been a point of contingence for me since I was at least six or seven. Where I feel like, like I, I just realized that I was indifferent. I felt like I wasn't normal. You know what I'm saying? So if anybody has Asperger's syndrome, like one of the traits are going to be like lines under the eyes. It looks like I don't get that much sleep, but I really get a lot of sleep. I think I get too much sleep for my own good. As you can see, the bed ain't made over there. But yeah, lines under the eyes. Your eyes always look lazy. And you tend not to get that much eye contact. Your eyes kind of sway. You know, they sway from the right and left. But you have a different kind of pattern of speaking. All the words that you think about might not come out correctly. Those are certain things that you're going to have to work on. I'm a guy in his late 20s. I feel like I adapted most of it, a majority of it. And I'm a guy who pretty much just found out, you know, I got, I got diagnosed at a late age in my 20s. I want to say 2013. That was just a couple of years ago. Now, to get off of Asperger's syndrome, another thing that I want to get into, while the videos haven't been consistent as much, because I know I upload videos on a, a bi-weekly basis almost. It's not consistent as it used to be anything if it was pertaining to Dragon Ball Z or if it was pertaining to like Tekken or any of those other video game genres that I love to talk about cutscene videos which I know a lot of people hate they feel like it's a cheap way to get a lot of views cutscene videos have always been my thing to do I was doing cutscene videos before anybody else I feel like it's always been my passion as a kid to do cutscene videos like VHS I'm talking old school just had a passion for just uploading, you know, gameplay footage with the cutscenes to give a visual narrative. That's just me. But uh, the main reason why I haven't been uploading videos on a consistent basis is because of the creative control. Now, a lot of people, when they upload videos on YouTube, they want to have as much control as they can. When they're uploading shit that's legit, stuff that they know are within the copyright margins, that's when you know right then and there that you're going to be a content uploader you want to make this a thing that you can live by like you can make financial income self-sufficient is the best way to live man i don't give a fuck what nobody says like if you have fans that enjoy contributing views and they're getting the content for free it's like youtube is one of the best platforms that can take you anywhere we're the celebrities now we're the people who want to be seen by the fans the fans demand to be seen by us Television is an old thing of the past. Internet is the future. But with me and my creative control, I've been kind of stopped and I've been smacked around by a lot of unknown entities that claim that they own most of the content in my channel. DBZ mostly. Any DBZ content that I upload is always slapped with a copyright claim by motherfuckers that don't know shit about Dragon Ball Z and they have nothing to do with the content. They're not Toei. They're not Funimation. They're none of these entities. They're just no-name people who can claim your videos. And that's one of YouTube's biggest faults. They don't take time to look at the small fries up in, these, in, the, in this community. Like YouTube, 
If you're not PewDiePie and if you don't have a sub count above 10,000, I mean, what am I saying? 10,000, I'm way above 10,000, 10 million views or higher, you're not going to get that attention. You're just going to be a fish in a big pond. And that's all I've been. You know, I've just been a punching bag. Now, the big deal about this is, like I said, it's not about the money, but when you have people making money off the shit that you produced and it took you man hours to produce this shit, that becomes a big deal. Now, the way YouTube works, if you guys aren't familiar with it, they put these claims on your videos. And if a video is claimed by the actual intellectual property owner or anybody else who claims the videos, it takes up to 30 days for that person to respond. And if that person doesn't respond within those 30 days, your video is automatically released. I want to say released. I think it's released. Yeah, within 30 days, your video is released. That's not the bad issue. The bad issue is the people that don't respond to your, you know, your, uh, your repeals to the copyright. That's what they're in it for. They want to claim the video and sit on their fingers within those 30 days so they can make all the money off of those videos within those 30 days. That's all they need to do. And by the time that 30th day hits, the video's traffic and views were being slowed down. Everything is just slowed. That's one of the biggest issues that I've been having. I feel like my creative control has just been, you know, brought to a screeching halt because of this shit right here. Like, I, I just got a lot of people just picking on me. And I'm not trying to blame my partnership program because I know that they do the best they can, but there's only so much to the partnership program that, you know, you can do. You know, unless you have a manager channel, you can't really do that much. Like, if you have a lot of shit to deal with copyrights. And it's not even like Toei or Funimation is claiming my videos because I have legitimate use of the actual visual material as long as i can critique the material and i can use it in a, a professional manner and it's something that's going to get the people to buy the product that's what it's all about but it's just my creative control has just always been stifled by these entities that have nothing to do with the product but that's another story for another day i don't want to get into that i'm going to be telling you guys some things that i want to do on this channel there's so many things that i want to do with this channel to make it to the next level because I feel like we have kind of slowed down and I can't blame my uh, I can't blame my fans for not you know watching most of the videos that I upload you know if, like anything you know anybody can get slowed down you know you're gonna have those people who are built for this shit and you're gonna have those people that just kind of you know they kind of get lost in the ways of living you know they, they have other personal issues to deal with. one of the biggest personal issues that I'm dealing with right now is like my friend like I just lost him like three and a half months ago one of my childhood friends of 18 years just died. If it wasn't for him, this channel wouldn't even be up. Like, I was almost homeless. I had kids on the way. I knew I had to step up, and I had to find a way to make some money. And what better way to make some money than to do something that I enjoy doing? Which is getting close to you guys. Talking to you guys about Dragon Ball Z. YouTube provided that platform for me to talk to people that I have never talked to before. And I've even interacted with some of my subscribers. Like my confidence level went from down here to up to the roof. Like my speaking improved. My way of thinking improved. There are so many people that I've interacted with within the Dragon Ball Z community. There are so many people that I've encountered. So many people that I've made proud because they thought I was crazy when I said that I was going to do YouTube. But now I understand that this is a blessing. But without that man, without my best friend, I would not be here. Without Earl, I know he's probably listening to me right now, but without him, I wouldn't be here. When I was down on my luck and I didn't have a place to stay, I was using that guy's computer to produce these videos. Very first videos, Naruto Storm Generations. Uh, what's the other one? Soul Calibur 4. Or Soul Calibur 5. Some of my first videos that propelled me to the level that I'm at now. You know, if it wasn't for friends like that, I would not be here. You know, just to have a person that you're not going to see anymore. You're not going to be able to interact with anymore. You know, you're not going to be able to pay him back for all the things that he's done for you. You know, that just puts a damper on a lot of things. You know, it, it just slows down everything that you have to go to because you have to readjust you have to reprocess life now. You know, it's just always going to be something. 
but a lot of things that I have learned, you know, it's like that you can't just shut yourself off from the world when a lot of things aren't going your way. You always have to deal with things up close. You always have to make your thoughts. All your achievements are always going to be a product of your thoughts. And if you don't manifest those thoughts in reality, what the fuck are you doing? Are you just sitting there thinking about it? Are you going to sit there and just dawdle and just complain? Or are you going to actually get up, do something, and be a man? Like, I've just learned so much from you guys. Like, you guys don't even understand. Like, Rhyme Style, I talked to him. You know, I'm glad that he reached out to me because I was a loner. I wasn't really full on into the DDZ community. You know, I had the uh, opportunity to talk to people that I forgot that I've even interacted with. Look at Quaman, one of the biggest guys up in the Dragon Ball Z community doing it right now. Interacting with him, I forgot that I even interacted with him. You know, there are so many people that I was just humbled to be talking to. I'm never going to be that guy who gets to a certain level and neglects talking to people. I want to talk to as many people as I can because I know within all of those people, there's always going to be somebody to surface and go above and beyond because you spark that interest. You, 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 you. Sorry about that. But you sparked that interest. You made them motivated to make these videos. People have moved me. I wasn't even a part of the gaming community first. I was a guy who was a part of the anime community. Esper Review was the name. But look at me now, I'm a different person. Now, I'm probably going to be doing a lot more face cam reviews depending on how this video goes. If you guys like my personality on camera. If you don't like how I look because I'm crispy and I'm chocolatey and I'm wholesome. I gotta give me a new camera too. This is a webcam. This was just off the uh, cuff right here. But yeah, you guys, like there are so many things that I wanna do. Like I wanna do facial cam let's plays. Like I've always been a guy who's never been afraid to step up to the plate. It just depends on my motivation and it depends on you guys. If you guys are motivating me enough and if you're there, I will make more content. I'll even do some Q and A's for you guys. If you guys want to know more about me, you are you're interested in my life, interested in the things that I do to become perfect. I am here to answer your questions. My nucleus will always be intact. Every fiber of my being will be here to answer your questions. So let me know. I wouldn't even be mad, you know. I would, like, seriously, I, I wouldn't be mad if you, you guys just tuned in to insult me. Because <laughs> I do get a lot of insults. Like I say, people thought I was a white guy for the longest. But as you can see, I knew and improved with a perfect body. I might even do some fitness videos for you guys if you want that. Some reaction videos. Anything that you guys feel is good for the channel. If you like my personality. If you like me as a person. Let me know. But like always, this is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, hitting you guys up with another video. I will catch you guys later on the flip side. Peace out.